I was told that someone from the central detectives will call me back about the complaint. I'm keep having my windows busted out. I'm getting dog feces smeared all over my door. Not one, this is on several occasions. It's only me and my child that live in here. I have a whole block of people that's gang stalking me. You, and what- um, well, just recently today, it was my neighbor that lives like three or four doors down, um, three doors down. Um, earlier this month, it was my neighbor across the street. It's always someone. They watch me. They follow me. I keep telling the police I'm being gang stalked. No one will do anything about it. My dad is a cop. He's a, he's a sergeant and he's in on it. And they're having people stalk me and gang stalk me and they're paying. And I keep calling the police. I keep, re- my dad is a cop. He's a, he's having, yes, they're gang stalking me. He's paying them. They're gang stalking me. It's not just them. It's a lot of people in my family, ex-boyfriends. Because my other apartment that I was in, they had something going on with my landlord. They're taping me. They're doing all kinds of stuff. And I'm trying to get somebody to investigate it, trying to get some help, but no one's helping me. They're really like basically... No one's being fair. I'm getting blamed for everything, and they're trying to make it seem like I'm crazy and I'm starting things. But, you know, the neighbors and everything, the last time they came, I called the police. The police supposed to take me to the hospital again. My son just got attacked. The last time they threw something at my face, my face was swollen. They were supposed to take me to the doctors. But the the cop tried. Yeah, he lied and told me he was bringing me to the to the hospital and he tried to take me to a um to check me into a crazy hospital after they spoke to people on a block i feel like that was out of line how i call the police and they're speaking we have a cop that live next door they're going over there they're talking to her because she's in on it too and they're sending me to the crazy hospital they're letting my neighbors break out my window they're putting feces on my door when we walk out the door they have cameras at their door so they can see when we walk past they're coming out they're attacking me they're following me and no one will do anything about it i just call eternal affairs or what i'm trying to like get some help with this and i'm trying to see like what is the police department doing because i called before you know know the address and you know the individuals that are doing it right yes i do but it's a whole group of them. It's more than one. It's more than two. It's more than you know, you know the house said it was on this block. It was this yes. Yeah. That's a private criminal complaint. We do the initial report. We take the statement from you of everything that's saying in the current. If you need to medical attention, we'll take care of that. If you need to see a doctor, we'll take care of that. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Y'all didn't help me. We're advising you of what to do. Yeah, but when he knocked on my neighbor's door, you said to collect. You're talking about past times. I mean, for that, you can file a, a, a complaint against police when that time. I'm trying to help you out with this occurrence. I'm here now, based on what you're telling me now, it's a private criminal complaint because you know the, the individual that did this. Okay, but I don't know their name. I don't know anything. You know the address. That's up for the DA's office and everything to follow up from that. But they're going to they're gonna require, our initial report requires you to go down and give a statement. And your son, you take your son down to give a statement. We're going to get more evidence and find out if it, if it meets protocol and if we're going to issue a warrant for that, whatever individual it is. But you, we can come out here a hundred times. If you do not follow up, we'll file a private criminal complaint with them. Our reports are, are just just documenting what you tell us. Okay, so where do I go after follow up? Um, what, so what happens today? Today or, we're going to give you a report. We'll give you the location for you to file your private criminal complaint. And once you go down there, like I said, it's, it's up to them. Our, our report is that report. And then we refer you to the DA's office for that private criminal complaint. It's up to them to find out if it meets that criteria for the warrant. Okay. Okay. Okay, so can you give me the paperwork or whatever yes, I need? You, you and you and you're saying and you're saying for me just to go down there. Yes, with that report number. Yes. So okay. Here you go. Here is your DC number. This is Central Detective phone number, like you requested. Okay. This is 1425 Arts for your private criminal complaint. I wrote it here. And just in case you lose this, I also wrote it here. DC number, Central Detectives, 1425 Arts, private criminal complaint. Okay. Okay. Get the paper, Christian. All right. Thank you. Okay, right. you're saying your son does not require medical attention at all right now? Um, no. You're fine, Tony? You want medical attention? Okay. All right, man. Okay. And say, if you're ever you want to file a, a complaint on police, you can do it at any district in the city. Our district, it could be anyone. Let me do. They'll issue the form right there. If you find that okay. 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 All right. Try to have a okay. better day. All right. Make sure you get in and follow that, that complaint. Okay. If not, I'm having a I'm I'm having a blessed day. Okay. Blessed I'm glad. day. I'm, glad. I'm highly blessed. All right. Thank you. Have a good one. They crooked too. I'm a reporter.